Well, hello everyone. Today we have a Crossroads Zinger. It's a 2022 model, 290KB. And I'm gonna zip around over here. They do have a really nice solar prep and inverter prep uh, package in here now. So inverter preps over there, wired for solar right there. It's gonna close this up as we go along does have the battery disconnect box. I call it the Gigi box, power tongue jack. Option for more solar right there. Nice big storage. Um, not seeing any lights in any of these zingers in the front pass through. So uh, maybe that was, uh, I don't know what that was. Power stabilizers. Nice big entry stairs. Decent size awning, especially on a longer unit. It does have the exterior speakers, and then we have an outdoor kitchen. Two burner stove, little water area, and then you do get a fridge over here as well. Pretty straightforward, pretty standard. Outdoor shower is right next door. Black tank flush, power television hookup, all that good stuff. Does have a rear tire here pre-wired for a backup camera and uh, looks like we're missing that uh, like you see in front of us that rear ladder that gets you up to the roof those have been in short supply as of late all right loaded vehicle weight my eyes can't find it quick enough 6920 I'm walking right in you do have nice storage and uh, anytime you see a yellow outlet like that they are tied into that inverter line so I am going to spin you guys around. That is where you guys walk in. There's the door. Expressway noise that's really, really loud. Hopefully only on my ears and this microphone's cutting it out some, but... Nice spacious bedroom. Prepped for a television. Hang it right there on the wall. Little yellow dot over there with a power port. USB 12 volt power here. Lifting this up. We do have sink covers down there and then just the rest of storage. Nifty little shock right there as well. Helps you hold it up. And then you do have a shelf which is quite high so hopefully nobody hits their head. Everyone always asks how much walk space you have through here and there is plenty. Our convenience center is conveniently right by the front door. And then uh, pushing on into the camper uh, you get to the entertainment center right here does come with a sound bar again we're not trying to add televisions to these one reason for it not to go down the road is because it doesn't have all the pieces the TVs depending upon the time of year have been a little harder to get and then of course there's electronic fireplace down below televisions of course can always be added probably for a fraction of the cost it costs us to do it there is nice storage down here and uh, they do this nifty little flip up thing so you can access it a little bit easier. <coughs> Stepping back so I can show you this whole U-shaped uh, dinette, which of course drops down to make into about another queen size bed. Hold up system is really cool. It's only got one little bar there. I'm not gonna be playing knee knockers with uh, any of the other stuff. Of course there is storage underneath this. Little access ports on either side. That's kind of why I just opened that up for you. Over here, for me, this would be pantry space. Of course, do with it what you please. And then uh, kind of coming back around full circle of the kitchen. If you've noticed uh, in the video, there's this nice little blue glow you've got going on in a bunch of different places. Under the sink is no exception. Nice big drawers goodie bag down there and then uh, of course the rest of the kitchen area as well nice big kitchen storage here maybe pots and pans who knows stove and oven micro a little bit uh, standard height I'd say and then big fridge along with the big freezer 12 volt real easy nice and efficient will probably run for darn near ever. Moving on into the bedroom, bunk room, bedroom. 
This one's a little bit unique. It's kind of like a 328 without a slide and all condensed. So nice L shape bunk up top. Load capacity is 300, so pretty significant. You do get another fold down couch back here. Of course, you do get the flip down space. There is a trundle down below. Hopefully uh, you can see that. And then this one does give you another bed underneath this top one over here. So you can really pack them in. There's pretty decent lighting power kind of throughout a little bit of a closet space. And then of course a place for an entertainment center, television, Xbox, PlayStation, all that cool stuff. Let us go into the bathroom. I think I might've forgotten that. So bathroom's a little tighter than some, but again, you're getting a lot of space without having the extra size and weight of some of the bigger ones. So nice tub, shower. It does have uh, my favorite thing with the opening roof vent with a fan in it above the shower. Skylights are nice, but I don't like the humidity. So nifty little storage spot down there. Of course you guys see the lines. So pretty easy, pretty straightforward. The only thing is, is if you are, if you are a large person sitting on this potty for any length of time, it's probably going to be a little tight. That said, most people will use the campground facilities. So I don't know, something about sitting on a toilet and spending some time there. And I don't want to deal with cleaning that. Teach their own. Questions, comments, concerns, just let me know.